Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Tips with Kerwin. In today's video I want to show you a few ways to create group forms. Unlike personal forms which are associated with a specific user account, a group form belongs to a Microsoft 365 group. Now before we go any further in this video, I want us to look at the applications we are going to use today. Microsoft Forms is an online survey creator, a bit like Google Forms, but which is part of Microsoft 365. You can also use it for your quizzes, polls, and other types of questionnaires. Teams is a communication platform which also allows you to collaborate with your teammates. And SharePoint is a web-based collaborative platform whose um, primary purpose is data storage and management. But you can also use SharePoint for tons of other stuff. If we go back to forms and more specifically group forms, the biggest advantage is that members of that group can view and edit the form as well as see its results. If it were a personal form, then the user would have to share the form first and invite others to collaborate. But with a group form, your team members automatically have access and can help build that form without further action on your part. Now that we have that out of the way, let's look at the different ways of creating group forms. The first way is through the forms portal. So when you arrive on the authenticatedoffice.com page, you can select forms from the icons on the left hand side. When you are on the forms portal, go down to my groups and choose the one where you want to put the group form. Let's choose retail. And once you're within the group, click on new group form. And then you will proceed as you would normally with forms. So let's give it a title, survey one. And let's add a quick multiple choice question. Okay, so are you going to subscribe to Tech, Ticks, Tech Tips with Kerwin? Yes. And option two, yes, of course. Okay, and now when your teammates visit the forms portal, they would see that a form is available in the group and they too can edit it. The second method is via Microsoft Teams. You can select any team you're a member of, but I'm going to select the retail team because I want to show you that it's possible um, to import an existing form, okay? So once you're within the team, um, you can choose any channel you want. Click on the plus icon here to open the applications catalog. Then locate forms. So here it is. And here you see that you can either create a new form for your team or add an existing one. If we select add an existing form, you'll see all the forms that already exist for that group. Here we have survey one, which we just created. But you'll also see all of your personal forms associated with your personal account. We are going to create a new form from scratch and let's name it survey2, okay? Then click on save. And uh, now all members within your team can click on this tab to edit survey2. The third option you have is to go back to the forms portal. So let's go back and move one of your personal forms to a group. 
let's say that you started off with a personal form and then you decided on switching to a group form then this option is perfect for you so instead of duplicating or copying your form uh, you know um, uh, just as a side note in everyday language I would say that I'm repeating myself as saying duplicating and copying but there are actually two separate features in Microsoft Forms so instead of doing that simply move the form to a group on this page to differentiate between personal and group forms the personal forms always have your name as the owner whereas the group form has the name of the group as its owner okay so just click on the three dots at the bottom of your personal form in this case survey number three and then click on move okay and select the group destination we are going to choose retail once more and click on move and just like that now um, ownership has been transferred this survey 3 um, document no longer belongs to Cohen Cox it belongs to the retail group the final method we are going to look at today is within SharePoint and when I say SharePoint I mean the team site associated with your group so let's open SharePoint from the office.com page and we are going to locate our retail team site so here it is let's just click on it and next you want to click on the documents library by default it's called documents then click on new and select forms for excel this type of form is slightly different from the typical form and i'll do a video explaining the differences in the future so let's name this form survey four and click on create and now within sharepoint we just created another group form which is available for all the members of the retail group when other people are present their initials will pop up here at the top okay hold on let me get megan on this document as well so let's refresh the page and here you can see that megan is here on the form editing with editing it with me at the same time so um there you have it now you know how to create group forms using four different methods remember that with group forms all your teammates can work together simultaneously on the same survey thanks for watching this video if this video helped you in any way please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel where i post new tips every week take care and i'll see you guys in the next one